Flights have finally been able to make crucial supply runs to isolated communities in WA's Kimberley region, many of which have been completely cut off by a flood emergency labelled the state's worst ever. Reporter Dylan Storr has more from Fitzroy Crossing. Just behind me here is the some of this water that's that's starting to come down, but as you can see, there is still a fair way for it to go down. So these supply runs are very critical at the moment. Uh, yesterday, people here in town saw uh, an Australian Defence Force plane fly overhead a few times. That plane didn't land due to the condition of the runway, but other planes were able to make it into Fitzroy Crossing yesterday. And again this morning, pretty well as we speak at the moment, the air traffic around Fitzroy Crossing is quite busy. Multiple planes and helicopters have landed and taken off in the last five minutes or so. These are shuttling supplies into town, but also taking some people out of town, getting them into some more comfortable accommodation away from the Fitzroy Crossing Evacuation Centre uh, at the moment, and also taking a little bit of pressure away from things like food supplies. The initial food supplies in yesterday were uh, very, uh, quite limited uh, and, and small sort of supplies that came off. There were a few eskies, a few other things like generators, and jerry cans that can help out with that initial response effort as well. But today the hope is that more uh, of those of those uh, supplies will be able to make it into town and will be able to be shuttled around with helicopters uh, to remote communities. Now that's something that is uh, quite a relief. There was a few questions being asked over the last few days about when food supplies would be able to make it into town. It's been difficult. Uh, food supplies have been sitting at Broome Airport. That only opened yesterday after ex-tropical cyclone Ellie, the same system that brought all this rain to the Fitzroy River catchment, was sitting over Broome for a while. That's cleared up in Broome now, which means flights can now bring in food. And that's, uh, I think, a, a sense of relief in town uh, that we've got that essential um, covered. It is certainly good that that relief is now happening. Um, you mentioned their ex-tropical cyclone, Ellie. The weather system moved on from Broome. What's the latest there? Yeah, so it's moved inland. Uh, we had a bit more rain here in Fitzroy Crossing. It's, it's lost a bit of intensity, uh, so there's not a lot of worry about extra rainfall going into the upper parts of the Fitzroy River catchment. That's now east of Fitzroy Crossing, that low, and, and heading further inland as well at the moment. So the authorities are fairly confident, are very confident actually, that uh, this water is going down and uh, will continue to go down for the time being. But it will still be a number of days until we can get a very clearer picture of damage uh, in town. Uh, yesterday, I was at the local shopping centre that was uh, that had uh, people sweeping up and cleaning up after that was inundated with water. There are homes in further out communities that are yet to be assessed. Uh, the emergency services are bringing in rapid assessment crews over the coming days to assess some of that damage. But it is a case as well for these uh, supply runs. These planes that are flying in and out may be coming for quite a while to come uh, as we see uh, the extent of the damage to the Fitzroy River Bridge and also potentially to other bridges and other parts of the Great Northern Highway. That's highway number one that is very critical to supplying uh, the Kimberley region, basically the only road that runs between Darwin and Perth at the moment uh, through the whole Kimberley region, uh, sustaining what will very likely be millions and millions of dollars worth of damage in potentially months and months to come. Meanwhile, WA state government has pledged $3 million to a relief fund, which will help those affected by the record floods in the Kimberley. The state emergency services minister says the Defence Force will continue to supply those isolated by the ongoing floods. We've had a range of uh, aircraft provided by Defence Forces so far. Uh, one aircraft did uh, land yesterday in Fitzroy Crossing, uh, but, it, but the, 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 the runway is essentially waterlogged down the bottom, so it was deemed uh, unsafe potentially to, uh, to send more heavy aircraft in again, so that, that aircraft uh, will be used elsewhere. Uh, it's great to hear that we will have some uh, helicopters, including Chinooks, come over from the east coast. Uh, they will be here early next week and they will be put to good use fairly immediately to help with, uh, with uh, transferring uh, people uh, who need to be relocated, but also getting much needed supplies into various communities across, right across the Kimberley. I wouldn't say anyone is stranded, so there, there's some people uh, deciding to stay in certain communities, and there are other communities that will have water inundation over uh, the days ahead, and so for those communities uh, we will uh, 
starting today and tomorrow and the next day, we will airlift those people. So I don't think anyone is stranded. Uh, we're getting people out who've asked to be, be uh, taken out. And for those who don't want to get out, uh, we've been providing supplies and, and ensuring that they uh, are told where to stay in the community, where, you know, where the most safe places are. There has been a reticence, I have to say, from certain communities uh, to leave. Uh, thankfully, though, uh, we've seen attitudes change and uh, people realise and recognise uh, you know, the difficulties ahead. And so people have started to, uh, to move on to Derby. And then, of course, today we will see... Uh, potentially later today or indeed tomorrow we'll see some people come to Broome as well. Emergency services in Western Australia are warning people in the Fitzroy River catchment to take immediate action as record-breaking floods are expected to threaten homes and lives. The alert is in place for residents of Fitzroy Crossing, Mount Barnett and Christmas Creek. It's the worst flooding in WA's history with a volume of rain in the past 24 hours exceeding the combined total for the past 20 years. Flood waters are continuing to flow downstream to surrounding towns while the storm is moving into the Northern Territory.